Good afternoon, Columbia. First Selectman Stephen Everett coming to you for my weekly address during the COVID crisis. And what a week it's been. Most of you probably won't even see this because you're still out of power. I will tell you that our command operations center, our emergency operations center, has been manned since Tuesday at 11 a.m. We make numerous calls on your behalf every day to Eversource. Their response has been disappointing to say the least. Their communications have been less than adequate. The governor's office knows this and they're addressing it with Eversource as we speak. But unfortunately, we're still waiting. But here's what I have, the latest. About 50% of Columbia is still without power. Many of the roads are still impassable. We're not sure if the power has been secured so our DPW trucks can get up there and remove the trees. We're waiting. Carefully, but we're waiting. But I've been told the crews will be in Columbia today to be able to make safe or start restoration. Well, for most of the restoration I've seen, we need to get the trees off the line, so hopefully we can get that done. In the meantime, we have put power stations outside of the Yeomans Hall and the Adela G. Urban Town Hall. There's a couple of multi-port cords out there with uh, surge protectors on them. So if you need laptops or iPads or cell phones charged, come on up, plug them in, talk to your neighbor, stick around a while, and we will get it done for you. Potable water is in the back of Yeoman's Hall. A couple of hoses are set up with water hoses that have certified that it's potable drinking water. I ask you to check on your neighbors, your family, your friends. See how everybody's doing. If you have trouble, if there's a true emergency, 911. If you need to talk to us at the town hall, 860-228-0110. Give us a call. We'll do what we can for you. If it's something that really needs to be emergency, please call 911. Otherwise, something that we might be able to do, we'll get in touch with the proper department and do our very best. This has been frustrating for us at the town, for everybody who lives here, and across the region, as a matter of fact. We know the people that are out there on the cruise are doing the best they can. This is a top-down situation at Eversource, and it should be a accountability from those at the top. So I hope something gets, well, it's not going to change us now, is it? But something has to be done. Other news for the presidential primary on Tuesday. Many of you have opted for absentee ballots. They have to be in by 8 p.m. on Tuesday, August 11th. And they have to be placed in the secure drop box box which reads official ballot drop box outside of the Adela G. Urban entrance to the town. Okay? If you're hoping that it gets put through the mail and it gets here on time, we're not guaranteeing it. So please, if you want it to count, put it in the official drop box. Any questions, call the town clerk, 860-228-3284. Uh, on another note, yes, the town transfer station is open tomorrow. They will be accepting brush, so you know, have some patience. My guess is the lines will be kind of long, and please wear your mask. If you haven't forgotten, masks are still required. And if you have forgotten the COVID-19 because of the storm, well, it's still there. So Columbia, hang in there. Be a good neighbor, treat people respectfully, and uh, let's hope for the best. 
And if you see people out there working on the lines, you see the trucks going by, give them a thumbs up, will you? Because we really do appreciate those on the streets. Take care. We'll talk to you next week. Hopefully, more people under better circumstances. Goodbye now.